want to emphasize that in my videos on my Facebook page, you will see my dogs running loose on a 54 acre property. They're not allowed to go running like that until they have learned to come to me. As soon as I call them, not whenever they feel like it, but my dogs have all learned that when I call their name, they need to come to me immediately. It's for their own safety. Um, the other thing I, I would stress is that you don't take your dog out into public until they have learned to focus on you, until they have learned to come to you when they're called, and until they have learned to walk with you in a civilized manner on their leash. You don't want to go out into public and have your dog take you for a drag. You want to go for a walk, and you want to have a good time, and your dog can learn this thing, whether it's an Airedale or any other breed. But don't take them out into public. Work with them in, the, in your backyard, in your house, but make sure they're well trained before you take them out into public. Up until now, in teaching your dog their name and how to sit and lie down and pay attention to us, all we've needed is a regular collar and a long lope. For more advanced training, um, the only other piece of equipment you will ever need is a chain collar. It's just a simple chain with a loop on either end. You only use this collar when you're training your dog when you're not training, you put the regular collar back on. So this training collar, um, the way you use it is you will drop the chain down into one of the rings so that you have a collar. There's gonna be a ring on the top and a ring on the bottom. And when you put it on your dog, you want the top to be on the top of the dog. You want this part to be on the bottom part. And since in obedience training, your dog will be on your left, you're gonna want this, tarp, this part to be on um, the right side. So I'm gonna use Aria. Aria, come here, girl. I'm gonna put the collar on. Put the collar on, and I'm gonna take her regular collar off. You don't wanna have both collars on them at the same time. So we're taking her regular collar off. My good girl. And now we've got her chain collar on, her training collar. They will come to learn the difference between the regular collar and the training collar. There should be about a two inch leeway in this training collar. You don't want it to be any longer and not any shorter. And when you use this collar, you don't want to pull. You want to use it with a quick pop because they'll feel the pop. You don't want to pull and, and choke them, okay? So here I have a six foot leash. I'm going to put on to Aria. And once I taught, she, she knows how to sit really well. And so what I want to teach her is that when I tell her to stay, she needs to stay, which she has learned. And when I tell her to come, she needs to come immediately. So when you tell your dog to come, you want to give them um, the signal with their name first to get their attention. And then you tell them to come. If they don't come immediately, you give a real quick pop on the leash. You don't pull, you give a real quick pop so that they will come to you. I don't have any treats with me right now because she works really well without them, but you can always use treats. Um, dogs will work for food. Eventually, the need for treats will go away, so don't worry about um, giving them treats when you're teaching them. So I'm gonna tell Aria, Aria, sit. This is my symbol for sit, a different symbol, hand symbol for everything, sit, and this is Wait. I'm going to back up and I'm going to tell her I want her to come and come. Good girl, sit. Good girl, Aria. Wait. Aria, come. Good girl. So as soon as I said come, she, she came to me. And so when you when they don't come, you just want to give them a real quick pop to the leash. They can feel that, but it doesn't hurt them. They just feel it. It's kind of like on the long the long rope when we were teaching them to be aware of where we are. When they got to the end of the rope, they could feel that tug. And it's the same thing with this leash. It doesn't really hurt them, but they can feel that little tug and know that they uh, need to pay attention to you. Aria, wait. Aria, come. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's my girl. 
Okay, now we're going to use Chloe. Chloe is seven months old, and we're going to do a little bit of training her to come when she's called. She's not as good at coming when she's called as Aria and some of the other dogs. So we're going to work with her a little bit. She gets to go out and run, but only because she's got Mama with her. She stays with Mama, but I'm going to teach her to stay with me, not just Mama. Okay, so we're going to put her training collar on. Over her neck, it is Chloe. And we're going to take Chloe's regular collar off. Chloe's never had this collar on before, so we'll see what she does. Okay. Okay. That's Miss Chloe. She knows how to sit really well. She's a good girl. We're going to see what she does when I tell her to come. We have a distractor. Emma's out here. She wants to go see Emma. Okay. Chloe, sit. Wait. Chloe, sit. Wait, when you do a double command, we only call their name on the first command, not the second one. Chloe, wait. Wait. Chloe, come. Yes, good girl. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good girl, Chloe. Yes. So, it's like with, the, with Aria, if they don't come right away, you get just a real quick pop on the leash. You don't ever tug, you don't pull. Chloe, wait. No. Wait. Chloe, sit. Wait. Chloe, come. Oh, good girl, Chloe. Good girl, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, good girl, Chloe. Yes, she is. Tell them what a wonderful dog they are. Do you want to tell them to wait to come before you, until you tell them to? So I told them to wait. Or we wait. Chloe, come. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Chloe, come. Chloe, come. Good girl. Yes. Oh, yes. And the better they become at coming when you call, you can go around in circles and back up. Chloe, come. Chloe, come. Good girl. Chloe, come. Good girl. Chloe, come. Good girl. Yes, there she is. This is most important to teach your dogs to come to you when they're called before you take them out into public. And this is after you've taught them how to sit and how to wait. Thank you for watching. <laughs>